a windswept day glancing down from the valleys. This viaduct is just over the border from Cumbria into North Yorkshire, a most impressive structure on the settled to Carlisle railway line. Hundreds of navvies built this line across what was then Batty Moss. With its 24 massive stone arches, 104 feet above the moor. This viaduct was designed by John Sidney Crossley, chief engineer of the Midland Railway. He was responsible for the design and construction of all major structures along this line. Construction started in 1869, when this was the last main railway line in Britain to be constructed mainly by manual labour. And by the end of 1874, through the gruelling winters, the last stone of the structure had been laid. On May the 1st, 1876, the Settle to Carlisle railway line was then open for passengers. And as much as this viaduct is impressive and iconic to the country, Ribblehead Viaduct today will see a very special steam engine travelling over it. There are two titans of power today, two very special locomotives. One we all love and respect is the Flying Scotsman and its rival is the Tornado. And it's a tour from A1 tours that's coming from the Midlands via Hellerfield on the Settle and Carlisle railway line to Carlisle itself. And then it comes back a bit later on. It'll be a bit dark then. Two very special good British machines. Rival to the Scotsman's notoriety, the Peppercorn Class A1, Tornado 60163 is also a 462 steam locomotive, this time built by the A1 Steam Locomotive Trust and completed in 2008. Cost of three million pounds, it was the most newly built mainline steam locomotive in the UK since 1960 when the Evening Star was completed. 
Named after a combat aircraft flown by the Royal Air Force, in 2017, Tornado became the first steam locomotive to officially reach 100 miles an hour on the British tracks for over 50 years. Oh yeah, absolutely brilliant. Now, this has been happening over the past two days, today and yesterday, and it's really good to see two iconic steam engines taking it in turns to do this tour. Apologies for the, the wind and uh, my drone steaming up just as the shot was coming across the viaduct. Can't be helped, it's quite cold out here. And don't forget if you do use a drone or you've got one and you plan to use it near a live railway, check out the link below as regards the drone code, your do's and don'ts when flying drones near a live railway line.